common health problem for women. They can cause symptoms of pain, pressure, and even life-threatening anemia because of bleeding. We're talking about uterine fibroids. And joining us today is Dr. Nicole Williams, surgeon and founder of the Gynecology, Gynecology Institute of Chicago about ways to treat fibroids without major surgery. Dr. Williams, always good to see you. Good to see you always, darling. First of all, let's talk about yes. what are they? Uterine fibroids are benign, generally, meaning non-cancerous tumors or growths in the uterus, which can cause bleeding, pain, anemia, back pain, all sorts of other terrible symptoms, and of course, not to mention your period. Okay, yeah. and let's talk about who's most at risk. Are we mm -hmm. talking about women in the midlife stages or younger? Yeah, so you get your primary incidence of uterine fibroids generally in the 30s and 40s, and that's when they're most symptomatic. Now, Caucasian women cause about 35% of fibroids are from Caucasian women, about 50% of fibroids African American women actually have, and it's generally due more to genetics than anything else. I I was just going to yeah. say, Nicole, just a couple of weeks ago, we yeah. were talking about cervical cancer yes, and how African-American women are more likely mm -hmm. to be diagnosed with that. Right. Why is this again? Because of genetics and fibroids? Now, because, fi because fibroids just tend to occur more often in African-American women, we're not exactly sure why, but they've studied it and that's what we found. Now, with cervical cancer, of course, that's when women just aren't getting their screening. Okay, so now what are some of the symptoms of these uh, of the fibroids now? Okay. Are we talking about pain, the pressure, and we just said? Absolutely. Bleeding, maybe? Life threatening? Yes. Right. I did have a patient who came to me and she was very, very pale. Turned out she almost died because of her anemia. She was down to five. You want your average to be around 12. And she was down, oh her blood gosh. count was down to five. We had to transfuse her and we had to perform surgery on her basically to save her life. So there is something that can be done. Let's talk about treatment oh, options. Yes, yes, we have many treatment options for fibroids. The first one is medical. Of course, you can just do general birth control pills and the like. We can do injectables as well, which are ways to kind of modify the hormones. You can do birth control pills. I thought that was a line that a number of my friends no, made up no, while no, we were in college so true. to true. tell their it parents that. Okay. Right. That's why I need the pill. <laughs> I need, Mom, I need to go on the pill. Because of fibroids. No, it's <laughs> but it really does work. It does. It can modify your cycles and lessen and lighten them. So if you're having bleeding due to fibroids, that's why. So it treats certain symptoms. Now, when you're talking about surgical options, the other thing. So we got your oral contraception, tranexamic acid, which is also another medicine that we can do that modifies clotting, as well as the injectables that I was telling you about. So you, there are some surgery options out there, but yes. that's in a case of what? Well, you do your surgery if the medical options don't work. So you always want to try your con conservative. Exactly. Oh, yeah, first, before you just go diving into surgery because it's a bigger event. Now, when we're talking about surgery, of course, there's always a hysterectomy. About 500,000 hysterectomies occur every year. About 40% of those are actually due to fibroids. You can do myomectomy as well, but nowadays it usually involves an open cut on the belly like you had a C-section. Now, the assessor procedure is a little bit different because with the assessor procedure, we make very small incisions on your belly mm -hmm. and we use an ultrasound to find the extra fibroids that maybe even a regular ultrasound missed and we actually treat those with radiofrequency ablation which is a very cool technology wow. all right good deal yeah. dr. Nicole Williams always good to see if people oh, yeah. want more information yes. about these uterine fat fibroids where can they go they can visit www.gynecologyinstitute.com all right thank you so much of course thank all you. right coming up mark will be back with a look at our Wednesday morning Wednesday afternoon forecast and guess what spring Yep, it's in the air, finally, back in a moment.